I have been covering DeepSeq models for quite some times now. Recently, they have released this new mixture of expert models, which has improved a lot. And when I say a lot, really a lot. This time, they have come up with DeepSeq version 2, which is a strong mixture of expert language model characterized by economical training and efficient inference. It comprises of 236 billion total parameters, of which 21 billion are activated for each token. Compared with DeepSeq 67 billion, DeepSeq version 2 achieves stronger performance and meanwhile saves 42.5% of training costs. It reduces the KV cache by 93.3% and boosts the maximum generation throughput to 5.76 times. They pre-trained DeepSeq version 2 on a diverse and high quality corpus comprising 8.5 8.1 trillion tokens this comprehensive pre training was followed by a process of sft or supervised fine tuning and reinforcement learning to fully unleash the model's capabilities the evaluation results are awesome and they validate the effectiveness of their approach as deep seek 2 version 2 achieves remarkable performance on both standard benchmarks and open-ended gen generation evaluation. The context length for both base model and the chat version is 128k. It is also open sourced and available on Hugging Face, but as it is a big huge model so I won't be able to understand it locally, but I can show you its demo through an API call plus also we can check it out in their playground. Now, one another issue which I have found out is that due to the constraints of Hugging Face as per the repo, there is a lot of slower performance on Hugging Face. So if you are running it through Hugging Face on GPUs, it would still be slow. Anyway, so once you look at its architecture, it is actually quite interesting. For example, let me quickly show you the architectural diagram. So if you look at it, DeepSeq V2 has adopted innovative architecture to guarantee economical training and efficient inference. For attention, they have designed multi-head latent attention or MLA, which utilizes low rank key value union compression to eliminate the bottleneck of inference time key value cache, thus supporting efficient inference. For feed forward networks or FFNs, they have adopted DeepSeq mixture of expert architecture which is a high performance MOE architecture that enables training stronger models at lower costs. I will drop the link to this repo in video description so that you can also read along through this DeepSeq. Now, if you want to use it through API, you would need to go to their website, which is this deepseek.com, sign up with your user account, and then very generously they give you millions of tokens for free well to be honest what happens is that initially when you sign up for first time they will give you 100,000 tokens which is equivalent to around maybe 50 50 cents us and then if you also verify your phone number they will give you around 5 million tokens extra on top of your 100,000 which amounts to around 1.5 somewhere around that us or 1.42 US dollar as of today as you can see on your screen I have just signed up now don't think that this millions of tokens mean that it is a big amount you can see that it is just over this close to two dollars or one one and a half dollars so as for example I just did an inference on it through an API call and you can see that I already consumed around 363 tokens and around one cent was already spent so it could get pretty expensive pretty soon so beware now let me show you how you can access this model from your local system through an api call so before that you would need to grab an api so on the left hand side click on api keys and then generate your new api key i already have done it and i have saved it so let me take you to my local system and then i will show you the code and then we will go from there 
So this is on my local windows system where i have this vs code editor install you can choose any editor of your choice there are two things which you need to do for example uh, first for first and foremost install open ai there this is a really good thing about deep seek as they are open ai compatible api so you can simply use your own open ai script and replace open ai base url and stuff with deep seek so install OpenAI by doing pip install OpenAI if you haven't already and then just set your DeepSeek API key on your terminal wherever you are using it. I am using git patch that is why I am using export. If you are using Windows terminal that just use set and space command. So I already have set it there and then I am simply importing the OpenAI. I am setting the API key. I am then in line number 10 instantiating the openai client with base url of deepseek instead of openai and then i'm simply using the same openai compatible api call i'm using this deepseek chat and you don't have to specify v2 here at the back end they have already upgraded it so it is using v2 and i am just using the system prompt which is for the platform and then i am the user prompt is how much is enough or whatever you want to ask it so let me run it quickly I'm just asking, I'm just going to run this deep.py. Let's run it. Let's wait for it to come back because it's an API call. So sometimes due to the load and stuff, you might experience slight delay. There you go. So it says that the concept of enough is subjective and depends on individual circumstances and then need, desire. So it looks really good. I mean, the, uh, because I haven't specified any randomness here. You know the um, temperature of this response so it, it it will it might be different every time you can set it to zero if you want to return every time the same response you can also specify other hyper parameters like top p top k max token and that sort of stuff so and i'm printing it out as usual let me take you back to the deep seek website and we'll see how many tokens we have Print this time so if you go to usage you will see that 363 let me reload it this takes a bit of a time sometimes maybe it was a slight less response it hasn't really given me okay so let's wait sometime it takes a bit of a time to get uploaded so let's wait for it and while we wait for this let me also show you their chat which you can do online in their playground so you can see on the left hand side you can either talk with your deep seek coder or deep seek v2 so let's talk with deep seek v2 i am going to ask it maybe something cool like um let me ask it which pokemon is famous all of the world Press enter. Let's wait for it. The picker choose one of the most famous and iconic Pokemon characters. There you go. And you can talk with it. Maybe I'll just go with a coder one and I'll ask it. Uh, write me a Python program to reverse a list. There you go. And look at the formatting. How good is that? And the interface is very, very nice as you can see and if you want to learn more about their api call then sorry let me make it a bit bigger if you are having some issues looking at it there so this is what it wrote and this was the previous one okay so if you want to check out their apis you can go to this website from that github repo and you will see that they have these python examples you can do it in go node.js ruby c sharp php java powershell you just want to do the curl you can do it through curl to through postman or whatever so this is how easy it is to use api calls with it really really awesome and i'm just going to refresh it one last time to see if it updates my token if not that is good so there you go so tokens have been updated they are now 773 and it is also showing me that how many input tokens i did and how many output tokens we did and api requests are three at the moment one we did through um, api and then the rest of them were from here 
so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching